Hello everybody, my name is Andrew Hester and welcome to Space Engineers. Now today I'm going to be talking about the number of projects one has. Now as those of you who remember, I have been working on this lovely and very long, three and a half kilometer long space elevator. And I just finished it a few hours ago. Yes, I took the gantry off of it because I wasn't going to need it here. I will need it elsewhere, but until then I just thought I'd keep it over here, but that's beside the point. The main point of this video is um, how to manage your projects. For those of you who know, I have a tendency to kind of go a little overboard. I mean, well, just look at this thing. It's three and a half kilometers. It is, if we fly down here, made out of solid con well, not solid concrete, but it does have a large cargo container going all the way down. I can't install SE Toolbox on my computer because it, um, I'm not sure what happens, but it can't be on my computer at the same time as my recording program. So I don't know the exact statistics behind it. However, what I do know is that if I divide 3,500 meters by two and a half, which is the length of a uh, large ship block or station block, I come up with 1,400. And because it is uniform all around, as in there are three concrete blocks on either side, so I know that 12 divided by 2 is 12, and then the four corners are the armor slopes. So each corner is a half of a uh, large block. So therefore, if my math is correct, that is roughly 7... No, wait, 12... Ugh, ugh. I did math horribly. I just got off work, so I apologize, but, um, so 14, so if we do times 14, 19,600, and when you take into account each one takes 50 slabs, or each of the blocks, that is 20,000 short of a million, and I know for a fact that each, uh, slab takes where did I put oh there it is I'm dismantling this so I'm not putting a beacon on it but I do know that each uh, oh that's the light switch uh, yes 150 gravel I just wanted to make sure before doing the math so that equates to 140 million kilograms of gravel so what's the point of all this well i've noticed how whenever i was waiting for gravel as you can see i still got plenty of stone but the gravel is taking forever to get processed even with all 14 refineries set to refine stone so I came at a rather spot of a bother when I was trying to weld the last piece of the elevator together, and that was, I'm at a stu I'm at a loss. I don't know what to do, so I moved on to a new project, and that brings me to the point of this video. If you, I know a lot of the times I'm limited by what I can do based on how many how much resources I have, like um, my mining ship, when I first built it, I couldn't build it because I didn't have enough platinum to make the thruster components. So I had to scavenge off of other things. Oh wait, no, it was the lander. In order to finish the lander, I had to cannibalize my mining ship. I've since built a new mining ship and got rid of the old one, but the point being, I had a new project to work on, so therefore I let things like this, like the concrete and gravel, to get refined and assembled so that way I can use it later. Basically the point is, and if you're a Space Engineers faction, you have a lot of people on, 
However, you're waiting for that one material, I highly recommend going to the next project. Like, say all you need now is the thrusters, and you're waiting for the platinum to get refined. Move on to the next ship. Keep one or two people on the previous project. That way, you can not only get that ship done, and also you keep everyone active and engaged in that new project. Because if they're working on that new project, then they get that ship done a lot sooner. And more often than not, that project is going to get halt halted by thruster components or whatever other issues might arise. Results may vary. So, as I waited for this one, to give you a, a quick explanation on what I've been doing, I've while I've been waiting for that, I built the new mining ship, as you saw in the episode from, I think, yesterday in the uh, techniques line. On This is all how I'm able to go from almost nothing to, well, yeah. And as you can see, that little square is that mega miner that I have down there. Except it's more for planets, or in this case a moon, because I don't think it would survive on the alien planet. Anyway, so the project that I moved on to was Sekir's little colonization pod, and this is the Mark I version. I'll let him finish it, because he's going to be the one using it while he's on the uh, alien planet, and I'll occasionally visit, but again, beside the point. And also, I started the Mark II version over here, because to finish this, I needed silicone to get uh, processed into glass. So while I waited for that, I started the Mark II. Basically taking all the lessons that I learned building this to this one. This one is going to be much larger and more easily um, modular. Like you can attach new sections as you need. So that's some of the lessons that I learned from this one. So that's pretty much the gist. Basically, also, I guess I should also mention, if you're stuck at a gap, like you're not sure how to, to design something, even if it's survival or creative, wh what I recommend is take a break from that project and do something else not necessarily close the game and do something else but like for uh this i wasn't sure how i wanted to structure this so what i did was i would take the materials that i got from the processing center to finish the elevator that way i could it was a mundane task so that way um, we learned in psychology when you're doing a mundane task you're i think it's the cognitive um, part of your brain, I didn't pay much, that much attention to cl in class, but basically in the back of your, your head, you're thinking more about the complexity of your previous task rather than the mundane task that you're doing at the time. And believe me, I had plenty of time working on this. Now, my spot of bother is how am I going to do the giant flares because I plan to reenact the layout that I had on the Mark 1 processing center. So that's just something that I have to consider for the Mark 2, but this is more of the I can't call it an ore elevator anymore. Well then again, all that comes up is ore and nothing goes down cuz I'm strip mining the moon. I just needed a lot of materials to do it. So that's just something to uh, bring up. I do know I want to attempt to build a space elevator on the alien planet. That is if Sakir is able to establish a foothold. But, eh. Well, we all know how he behaves, so. <laughs> Slim pickings there, but. We'll save that for the multiplayer. So. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope this will help you in your space building endeavors. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.